Have you ever wondered how a woman from a Colombian slum became one of the most feared figures in the global drug trade? The tale of Griselda Blanco, also known as the Black Widow, is as fascinating as it is chilling. Born into abject poverty in Colombia, Blanco found an escape from her grim surroundings in the world of drug trafficking. Her strategic mind, coupled with her unflinching ruthlessness, quickly set her apart from the rest. Blanco didn't just participate in the drug trade, she revolutionized it with her innovative smuggling methods. From hiding cocaine in lingerie to using children's toys, her creativity knew no bounds. She climbed the ranks swiftly, and by the 1970s and 80s she had established a formidable cocaine empire in Miami. But as Blanco was soon to discover, with great power comes great challenges. Griselda Blanco's empire in Miami was a force to be reckoned with, but her reign was not without its challenges. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our updates. As the saying goes, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. Blanco's fall was inevitable. In 1985, law enforcement finally caught up with the godmother. The empire she had painstakingly built over the years crumbled in an instant. Her violent methods, while effective in building her power, also earned her a long list of enemies. Those who once feared her were now emboldened, and her arrest marked the beginning of the end. Behind bars, Blanco was a shell of her former self. The once feared godmother of the Medellin cartel was now just another inmate serving time. Nearly two decades later, in 2004, her sentence was up. Deported back to her home country of Colombia, Blanco found herself in unfamiliar territory. Her power diminished, her allies gone. Blanco was alone. Her power diminished, Blanco was sent back to Colombia, but her story does not end there. The final chapter of Blanco's life is one that seems almost scripted for a crime thriller. Griselda Blanco, the feared godmother of the Medellin cartel, known for her brutal tactics and ruthless business acumen, met her end in a manner that was as chilling as the life she led. Her story doesn't conclude with her deportation back to Colombia in 2004. Rather, it ends on a grim note, eight years later in the city where she was born, in a manner that seems almost poetic in its irony. In the early afternoon of September 3, 2012, Blanco was shopping for meat in Medellin, Colombia. As she left the butcher's shop, a man on a motorcycle pulled up. The motorcyclist fired two bullets into Blanco, ending the life of one of the most notorious figures in the world of crime. What's chilling about Blanco's demise is the method of her execution. The godmother was gunned down by a drive-by shooting on a motorcycle, a technique she herself had popularized during her reign. It's a method that's come to be known as a motorcycle assassination, and it was a signature of Blanco's violent rule. The very tactic she used to instill fear and maintain her power was ultimately used to end her life. Blanco's death marked the end of an era, a grim reminder of the cyclical nature of violence. She lived by the sword and in the end, died by it. Her life is a chilling testament to the inevitable downfall that accompanies a life of crime a stark illustration of the fate that befalls those who choose the path of violence and lawlessness. Griselda Blanco's demise was as violent as the life she led, a chilling end to the reign of the godmother. Her life and death serve as a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the dark side of the human pursuit of power and wealth. It's a story that seems almost scripted for a crime thriller, a scary ending to a life marked by brutality and violence. Griselda Blanco's life and death serve as a grim reminder of the cyclical nature of violence. Her rise to power was marked by ruthless ingenuity, her downfall by her own brutal methods. As we reflect on the godmother's legacy, we can't help but acknowledge the lessons embedded in her story. Blanco's life underscores the inevitable downfall that accompanies a life steeped in crime. Her pursuit of power and wealth, while initially successful, ultimately led to her demise. Yet, her legacy continues to shape the world of organized crime, her tactics still mirrored by those in the underworld today. In the end, Blanco's life story is a stark illustration of the dark side of human ambition. Her journey from a poverty-stricken childhood in Colombia to being one of the world's most feared drug lords, and finally to her violent end, serves as a stark reminder of the price of unchecked ambition. The life of Griselda Blanco, the Black Widow, serves as a cautionary tale a stark illustration of the fate that awaits those who live by the sword. As we conclude the tale of Griselda Blanco, the life and death of the Black Widow, we hope that her story serves as a somber lesson, 
The price of unchecked ambition and a life of crime is steep and often fatal. The world of organized crime is a dangerous one and Blanco's story is a testament to that. Living by the sword, as the saying goes, often ends with dying by the sword. Yet, even in such dark tales there is a silver lining. They serve as reminders of the paths we should not tread, the choices we should strive to avoid. Her story is not just one of crime and punishment, but also a reflection on the human condition, on our shared struggle between ambition and morality. If this video has intrigued you, piqued your curiosity, or even made you reflect on the choices you make, then don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We will continue to bring you more such intriguing stories, tales of people and events that have shaped the world, for better or for worse. Remember, history is not just about the past, it's also about understanding the present and preparing for the future. So, stay tuned and stay curious.